Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and short tutorial, we're trying to see how to make a simple prediction using PyCaret. So in the previous tutorial, we saw how to do a simple data science or, my, or machine learning activity using PyCaret. And then we saw how to interpret them, load the model, save them and several other steps. So in this session of the tutorial, we're trying to see how to make a prediction, right? So we saw that to make a prediction, first of all, you have to finalize your model. So it's going to be pc.finalize model as we did previously. And it's how to make a prediction, right? So first of all, you finalize your model, then you can make a prediction. And the caveat for making a prediction is that your data frame, like your data set that you are supplying to your model should be in the format of a data frame, right? Otherwise, it's not going to work. It can't take a list. It's not going to work. It must be in the format of a data frame. So let's check it out. For now right so let's check it out so the caveat is that first of all you need to create a data frame right so, so your data that you are using to you are sending to your model for you to predict must be in the format of a data frame so there are several ways of creating a data frame so you can just use a normal one of using a dictionary right then you convert the dictionary which is going to consist of your columns right your column names column names right and then map to your values right then you convert that one to a dictionary that is another way or you can just use a different method right you can use a different method so, but the basic understanding is that it must be a data frame so let's check it out so we'll be using the first method and then with a, a simple method then a, a more complicated method so let's try with the first simple method so it's going to be method one right so i'm just going to pick a data frame from this place let's use the old one so let's use let's say one so this is going to we are using we are just using this one to help us get the data set right to get data so this is in the format of a series so when you are supplying to your model it must be in the format of a data frame so how do you do that so i can just convert this simple series into a data frame so let's copy this one here and then let's convert it into a series and then we will just be taking out the class right we know that the class is one but we just want to confirm and or we'll just use it as an example so i'll just go back to the same place and let's call us on scene data right then from here i'll just go straight away with this right that is how to to create a simple data frame using pandas then i'm just going to go with this option i'm going to pass it inside this to zero right this is going to be a double so double square bracket this is going to convert into a data frame right that is something very interesting so this stuff will be in a format of data frame so if i go back and i check it out just to confirm this is a data frame so let's see how it's going to be it's going to be not in a series like this but it's going to be in a data frame like this right so this is what you're supposed to send to the model for it to predict right but we don't need a class so we'll just drop this one out so we'll drop that one out using something simple so that is the simplest way of dropping it out so this then minus one right because that is the last one that's the class so we're dropping it out so if i check it back again so it has dropped it if i check it back again for this on scene data we have so remember that this is a data frame right not a list right the model is going to accept only data frame so this is now a data frame without the class right so this is the first method very simple so let's try and see how to make a prediction on it so to make a prediction if i check for the type of this you can know that this is actually a data frame it's going to be type then i pass in my on scene data so on scene data, right? It's going to tell me that this is a panda data frame. As it's confirmed here, not a series, right? Panda data frame. So I'll send this data frame to my model. So that is the basic idea. So I'll just pass it here. It's going to be a PC, right? For PyCarrot dot predict model. Then the model that you finalized, very important. Then you are going to supply it to this argument data is going to on scene data. So let's make a prediction. Then it's going to predict perfectly for us perfect so now i can check my prediction so i check the prediction that we have now it's going to create another data frame so this is going to return another data frame with the initial values which is very nice and makes sense it's very good at least you can use your unseen data to actually create another data to feed it into your model again to train your model again which is very nice like batch learning right something like that or offline learning so so is that it's going to give us our label which we already know that it was going to, it was one from the initial one that we saw here it was one right the class was one so pycarate is going to retain a data frame 
it is going to take a data frame when it's predicting then it's going to return another data frame with the initial values that you entered and then some two columns so the label right the prediction which is one which is perfect accurate based on what we have and the accuracy score which is very nice and very exciting that is the first method right so the caveat is that you must supply a data frame to your model for you to predict and it's going to generate another data frame with your label and then the score that is the simplest method now let's check the second method so it is going to be method two so let's come back here there's going to be method two like of creating a dictionary which is going to be a long method but let's learn it out learn how to do that for future sake so in case you don't want to you're not picking it from this particular option you want to create a dictionary so this is going to be method two to two right so we are creating a dictionary then we convert a dictionary to a data frame right that's the basic idea so how do you do that so it's going to be something like simple we already have our columns so df going to be df dot columns right then i'm going to convert it to a list so it's going to be our column names i'm converting our column names it's very important because we need that one to help us build our data frame so this I'll pick all of these things to this place, right? So this is going to be our column names. We're going to go with this option, then I'll close it, right? So without the class, that is the basic idea. Notice. Then I'm going to supply my values, the values that I want to use. So we just go back again. And then let's pick our values. So this was our values that we had. These were the values that we had, right? These values we had. That's what I'm picking. So these are the values that we have right so i can actually get those values to use in the same format so let's check it out it's going to be my df.ialog then what we, we use one right so we use one so if i check it out it's going to print it for us now i can convert this one to a list to get that particular value not these ones but this is a long method Right, so I'm just going. I want to get only these values, then use it for our prediction. You cannot actually generate your own. So I'll take, I'll take everything. Remember that this, the one is what you're trying to predict, right? This is an example. So I just copy this entire stuff. Or I can drop that one out. Then I'll build a dictionary. So let's call this one as my sample values. So sample values. Then I'll pass in. So this is what you'll be saying. So now we can build a dictionary from this and build a data frame from that. So let's work on it. So I'll just create some spaces, then we will start working on it. So simple dictionary. So let's call it D, right? For our dictionary, then I'm going to pass in my dictionary function. Then I'll pass in zip. Then inside this zip, I'm going to pass in my column names, which was the column names right that we have. Then our sample values right so our sample value so this is going to create a simple dictionary for us so that's how to create a simple dictionary then we're going to convert our dictionary into a data frame right something simple so this if i check it out now this is a dictionary as you can see that is how to make a simple prediction that is the long format right so perfect in a very nice format then i'm going to supply this one to my prediction so it's going to be my on data data two to convert it to a, a, a panda data frame to so pd dot data frame then i pass in as a list right i'm passing my dictionary as a list that's going to convert it in, into a data frame for us that's the basic understanding behind it and now this is going to be a data frame there's a long method then i can make my prediction as above right so it's going to create it perfectly so if i check this one out this is now a data frame so if i go back i check on scene data can spell on scene and see and that's good data apologies for the noise behind see data 2 right if i even print this one out this is a simple data frame with our column names and then there. So you can see that for at the end there's no class there right so this is what i want to make is to make a prediction so i'll copy the code above to make our prediction i'll copy this one so this is the same thing i'll copy this then you need to make a prediction on the same thing right 
So this is the second method. So either you use the what I did or you just use this method. But the most important thing that it must be in the format of a data frame. So you can just use your column names and then your values. You create a dictionary. You pass inside your pandas to create a data frame. Then you supply it into your model like this. So this is going to be our prediction two, right? And this is going to be our scene data two, which is a which is a data frame. And now I can run this one out. Then just as above, it's also going to create a. It's going to retain the data frame with two columns right two additional columns which is going to be the prediction call which is very good it's a very nice way it's a very nice approach at least you can use the model that the prediction you are getting the result to also create another data data set to train your model again so if i run it again now you can see that it's going to retain the same unseen data with two additional columns so you can see that we have two additional columns here right here right we have our label right as a prediction which was one and then our score 0 0.95 so that is how to make a single simple prediction so the caveat is that you must always retain a data frame right that is for now right and how do you create a data frame you can use the two methods that i've described above using your column names and then the values you create a dictionary you convert it to a data frame or just use a simple format right as we saw earlier on so thank you for watching this long tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just post at the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe see you another time stay blessed